left in the dark. Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Will the Dragon Whisper with another video for the channel. And in this video, I'm going to do something I've never done before, hope to not do again, and I don't condone, but I feel there's a real need. I'm going to put somebody in the reptile hobby on blast, and I hope you guys will take the information I'm going to provide later on screen and reach out and let your thoughts be known to this individual and his organization. I'm also going to be showing some incredible birthday footage from a party that I got to do with Tar Heel Exotics and an incredible young man named Mason recently. I can't thank his family enough for letting me and Tar Heel Exotics and my animals be a part of his birthday experience and I can't wait for you guys to see that footage and how these kids interacted with the animals but in this video we're going to be talking about a very small man who has caused Dingo Dinkelman's YouTube channel to be banned and I can't wait to talk about that with you guys and I hope you'll reach out and help this type of bullying not become a trend in our hobby so let's get straight into it you guys let's hit the road Rose, we going we don't need Rose. Now this is some footage from a birthday party that Tar Heel Exotics and I was delighted to be a part of for a young man named Mason recently. And the reason I'm including this footage in this video is because we have to keep things from happening in this hobby like what's happening to Dingo Dinkelman. Um, there is a man by the name of Johan Marais and I'm going to put his Instagram up on the screen. And I'm also going to put his email address at the African Snake Bite Institute, which he is the owner of this organization. I still haven't found out if they're nonprofit or not. But apparently this gentleman has put three copyright strikes in the last three months on Dingo Dinkelman's channel, which, according to YouTube rules, is an automatic ban. So his... YouTube channel has been permanently banned. This man has uh, upwards of almost 75 million views, and his footage and his videos have touched millions of people all over the world, and he has spent countless hours and his own personal money traveling all over the world, engaging himself and putting himself in danger for the conservation of not only reptiles, but a lot of endangered species and animals all over the world in endangered areas. And this man, Johan Marais uh, had some photographs that, unbeknownst to Dingo, was used by his team in some thumbnails on his channel. So we're literally talking about uh, still shots that were owned by this man that were gotten from Google and placed on Dingo Dingleman's YouTube channel thumbnails. And even after Dingo reached out to this gentleman and explained to him the situation that they were not taken uh in malice, this gentleman still decided to continue with his copyright strike, knowing that this would damage Dingo Dinkelman's career, his ability to create money, and the livelihood of his family. So I'm going to show you guys some live footage now of the birthday party so you can see these children. I'm going to get one of the snakes out. Okay. If you guys could just keep the two dragons away from the table for right now. Because okay. I don't want them getting close to the Now this, everybody's going to want to hold this guy. This, this is how safe, ball pythons are super safe snakes for kids because when they get scared or upset, they ball up and try to protect themselves. They don't, they don't bite or get mad. Watch this. I don't even look where this snake is, and I'm just going to reach in there and grab him. I don't, I don't have to worry about if he's going to bite me because they're not like that. and his name is Leonidas and he is a very rare kind of ball python called a pied ball python. See, where normal ball pythons will have that pattern, Leonidas is white and then he just has this pattern in really random spots. He's a little bit albino. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a, a similar to albino but not the same. You want to just support it and he'll, 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 climb, he'll climb on you. He doesn't, he doesn't like his head. He, he won't get mad, but he just doesn't like his head being touched. Kind of like if some random stranger yeah, walked up to you and touched your head, head you wouldn't like yeah. it. <laughs> so it's, it's, I didn't do it. 
Nah, 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 uh, a lot of people want to touch them on the head and they get scared and the snake jerks back. But they, just, they just don't like being in their face so much. Everybody can hold the now, these are some incredible still shots from the children at the party as they waited in anticipation to interact with the animals. Educational opportunities like this are motivated and inspired by incredible people like Dingo Dinkelman who spend their time and money to create incredible YouTube videos to promote a passion and love for these animals. He also spends countless time and his own money in conservation efforts for these animals. And this hobby needs so many more people like him. And we have to stand out and not let people like him be bullied and let our voice Voices be heard. I was able to capture this incredible footage of this beautiful young girl interacting with Thor at the party and watching the pride on her father's face, watching his young daughter interact with this big snake was an incredible experience. She even rubs his face on his body at one time. But people like Johan Murray cannot be allowed to bully great YouTube creators and animal conservationists like Dingo Dinkelman. We have to reach out and let our voices be heard. I don't encourage any profanity or any threats to this gentleman, but we have to let him know that he is a small man and he's affected a big community and what he's done cannot stand um you can see his youtube channel for snakebite institute barely has any subscribers his views are very small on his videos his instagram is ridiculous but please you guys send him an email send him a message let him know this will not stand these interactions like my beautiful niece holding one of my animals are brought into this world by people like dingo dinkelman and the love for these animals has only been encouraged by him and we cannot let this stand Okay, guys, once again, this is Will the Dragon Whisperer. Thank you guys for watching the video. Big shout out and a big thank you to Mason and his family for letting me be a part of their birthday and letting me record some of that footage for my YouTube channel. You guys, smash that like button. Don't forget to comment and ring that notification bell. And please, you guys, we cannot let people bully big names and good people in this hobby, um, especially not by men that are small that will never accomplish or even hope to accomplish the things that, that Dingo Dinkelman has done for this hobby and for the conservation of these animals. So please, you guys, reach out. Make your voices be heard. Let this man know how you feel about what he's done to one of our great YouTube creators and reptile ambassadors. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. This is the Dragon Whisperer, and I'm out.